Hey there, Stephen Kogan here once again. I've brought along some information uh, about our latest release package for November and December of 2024. It is our last package of the year. Well, believe it or not, this time around we have reindeers, we have kangaroos, we have elephants, some little trucks, and we even have some airplane models too. I am running a little bit late on getting these memos done, so uh, let's get going. This is one aircraft, Austrian Airlines itself, their passengers and also collectors have been waiting for for quite a bit. The replacement for Austrian's reliable but venerable 767 and 777 fleet is finally here in 1 to 1 and now also in the 1 to 500 scale. Originally delivered to Vietnam's Bamboo Airways, this Dreamliner is now named after one of the most famous of Vienna's many sites, Schönbrunn Palace one of the most requested airlines in recent months. Here comes the next flying beach towel in 1 to 500, in this case with the bright blue stripes. Further beach towels in 1 to 500 are in production and um, I can reveal at least this much, it probably won't be an Airbus. We this time around also have two firsts in 1 to 500. An A320 of Discover Airlines, formerly Eurowings Discover, and also a new model from Africa, an A330 Neo from Senegal Airlines. Two Neos currently connect Dakar with Paris and New York City. And we also have two late entries into our 727 anniversary series. One is a short fuselage 727 in a bright lime green color from Braniff. The other, a freighter in, well, it's um, not so bright brown. The centerpiece of UPS's fleet in the 80s and 90s were over 70 of these trijets. Some were even used well into the new millennium, whereas Braniff operated this 727 starting back in 1969. Well, all the leaves are getting brown, the skies are pretty much gray and it's raining a lot. Days are getting shorter um, and we have seasonal decoration and candy uh, popping up on supermarket shelves. So um, if we want to offer a few more Christmas models, it's uh, high time for that. Um, well, on December 2023, Qantas harnessed a Q400 with, uh, in typical Australian fashion, a couple of kangaroos in front of Santa's sleigh. Not only were guests greeted by Santa himself on the first flight, Christmas carols were played over the loudspeakers and members of the frequent flyer program of Qantas received double miles when they flew on this very aircraft named Dasher 8. This Dash 8, or rather the Q400, is released as a limited edition in both 1 to 500 and 1 to 200 scales. And whereas there are probably not too many kangaroos in Finland, which is why Finn Aviation back in 85 probably stuck with a classic Christmas sleigh pulled by a more common reindeer. Um, same as Dash Rate, this special Saab 340 is also released in a one-time only limited edition. The design may look familiar to you longtime collectors. Almost 25 years ago, we had produced MD-11 trijet models of Finnair in 1 to 500 with this special design. And uh, since we've rarely done any SOP 340s recently, we'll throw in a second one, in this case from Switzerland, from one of the SOP 340's main operators, Crossair. This very aircraft, HBAKN, was actually the only aircraft in the SOP 340 fleet to receive the new livery Crossair introduced in March of 2000. It was also to remain the last Crossair livery, following the takeover of Swissair's assets after its bankruptcy. Crossair was restructured as Swiss International Airlines. All Saab 340s were retired. I did mention elephants, didn't I? Well, Spain's Ala Trienta y Un, or 31st Transport Wing, recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. The two squadrons of the unit use the elephant as part of their emblems, symbolizing the size and transport capabilities of the unit's A400s. We are offering this specially decorated A400 in both the 500 and 200 scales as limited editions. We on a regular basis receive requests for new editions of accessories in the 500 scale. By the way, uh, thank you in general for keeping your requests coming in. 
I um, already hinted at this during our live stream a few weeks ago. This new set, this new production run contains eight different trucks and vans, all in new designs and colors to add some more, well, color on your airport setting. In our fast growing SnapFit range, we have finished molds for an aircraft that probably needs little introduction, the Antonov AN-225. The fascination of this giant remains unbroken, perhaps intensified even by its tragic fate. The Maria is right up there with a legendary aircraft of history such as the Concorde. Last, but definitely not least, we have a new release unmistakably smack on the title page of this brochure. The um, indigenous Australian design agency Balaringi has worked with Qantas to create the designs for all of the Flying Art series liveries to date, collaborating with various First Nations artists. I am pretty sure that most of you have models such as the Wunala Dreaming or Inanyi Dreaming in your collections. The painting created by um, this First Nation artist, Moringa Baker, tells the dream story of two sisters who traverse the Australian continent together, covering vast distances to find their way home. The aircraft has been named after this piece of artwork, Minima Kujara Chukurpa, the two sisters creation story. And it goes without saying that this really remarkable aircraft is also in production in the one to 500 scale as well. So there we are. I hope that we were able to include something for everybody. As mentioned before, please keep those suggestions coming, even if we cannot comment on each and every idea. But all are definitely greatly appreciated. I also appreciate you listening to this latest little presentation. Thanks again, and uh, until next time.